The first thing we're going to use, or the first block we'll use, is a header. You can get back there by clicking overview and then header. And we'll just go ahead and grab the first one. Um, as you can see, I clicked on that question mark and it opened up this panel on the side. And it'll let you know which block you're using. And uh, it'll give you instructions on how to include the CSS. We're going to go ahead and copy all of this code right here. And we're going to paste it just beneath the body tag. Now before we save it and preview it, we need to correct something here. Um, between the parentheses, there's some text that says way to the startup folder. Now each of these are going to be different uh, depending on where you extracted the download files from. Uh, as you can remember, I put mine in the root of my sites folder and I have MAMP running so it's going to be uh, in the root of that directory. And I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm just going to select all of these and then change the path. Uh, I need to go up one directory, so that's two dots and a forward slash. And I need to reference the startup. Uh, I think I called it dash demo. And that should be it. Let me save it. And I can check my finder just to make sure. Again, I was in the HTML and I wanted to go up one directory, so I put the two dots and the forward slash. And then I referenced the startup dash demo. And oh, looks like I'm going to want to put uh, developer afterwards because that's where all of my files are sort of being held. So I'm going to go up one directory, reference the startup demo folder, and then lastly, uh, was it developer, developer, yeah, developer folder, and then I'll save it. Um, let's check this out in the browser to make sure everything's correct. I'm going to refresh this, and it's wrong. And it's wrong because we still have to include one more style sheet. And if you remember, we copied that second uh, set of uh, links here, and we left them commented out. Um, we're going to want to uncomment the style sheet uh, that's used for all the headers because that's the block that we just used and we'll have to do that for each different block uh, that we uh, that we end up using now again for the demo you're not gonna have a lot of options here so eventually um, we'll probably have most of these uncommented out but when you're in the premium version there are a lot more options and uh, this can get a little bit trickier um, I'm gonna save that and then refresh it and then I'll have my nicely designed and uh, formatted content. I'm going to go back to my manual and let's add a content section and how about um, I guess the first one's fine. We'll just take that first one and again the process is the same and it's going to be the same for every single block uh, in the demo and premium version as well. Um, this this step in the whole process is pretty much the same and it's really easy to do As you can see I'm literally just copying and pasting stuff um, for now once I start customizing it things will get a little trickier um, let's go back and check it out I just saved it and again we'll have to make reference to the CSS that we're using so we'll want to include the content CSS and also uh, we'll want to look for images that are being used and we're going to have to correct the path for that as well. So we'll scroll back up to the top and I'll just uncomment this and then I'll find those two images and I'm going to paste in that full path. Here they go. Right here. Right there. And then one more forward slash, I deleted it, and then I'll save it. We'll check this out again. And there we go. Our nice content section with the little animation there as well. Let's add another content section. How about, I don't know, this call to action here. And again, 
same old thing, just copy it, paste it where you want it to go. Oops. And then uncomment the CSS. Which is, uh, well, I guess this one's going to include it in content as well. I'll check it out. There we go. How about we add, let's try one of these price blocks. Again, there are like, there are tons of blocks in this framework and all of them are nicely designed and you don't just get the code, you get the PSD files as well. So if you're good in Photoshop, which I'm not, um, you can go in there and you can hack away at those files and do whatever it is you do in that. All right. Save that, and that's the price one, so I'm going to want to comment that here. I'm not sure if there were any images, but I'll, I can check really quick. No? And then finally, let's just add a footer. And um, I'll try this nice social media one. It's got the social media icons in the bottom right. I'll save it. Make sure you uncomment your CSS because it can be overlooked easily. And then refresh. And there I have a nice, awesomely designed website. Let's create a sort of a nice uh, mock up of what I want my website to look like. And what you could do now is um, start hacking away at the code and making it your own putting your own business name or your own uh, client's business name in there, changing these colors around, and you've got a nice, um, fully responsive website. And um, it was that easy. It took less than like 15 minutes. And that's going to be pretty much it for the demo tutorial. Now, in the next uh, series of videos for the startup framework, I'm going to be using the premium package, and I'll be explaining everything in a little bit more uh, detail. Um, I'll also go over a lot of the blocks of uh, content that you have access to and um, we'll even take a look at compiling the less files uh, into our own uh, production ready CSS file. So I hope you look forward to that. Um, if you haven't checked out my website yet it's easydevtoots.com and I post um, tutorials there Sometimes, not a lot. I post more videos here on YouTube uh, than my website. And speaking of YouTube, go ahead and subscribe because I have cool tutorials on other things. Also, um, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.